life is spiritual. Say it one more time. Life is spiritual. When I say life, it means every other thing that life consists of. Academics is spiritual. Marriage, spiritual. Prosperity, poverty, success. When you understand the spiritual dimension of life, it automatically puts you in a position of victory. So that you begin to interpret things first from the plane of the spirit before giving it any intellectual. You see, intellectualism has killed a lot of people. Hallelujah. There are so many families, for instance, that are going through things that you obviously know this is the devil but when you tell them this is not of god they will try to give it an intellectual are you following me now there are some of you for instance who do not believe that god put tithing to govern the prosperity of a believer's life you don't believe it when you see people come out to pay their tithe you just laugh say forget if you work hard no devil will stop you you really think so one more time say after me life is spiritual and our goal is to open you up to the realm of the spirit through the lens of the word of god notice notice my choice of words to open you up to the realm of the spirit through what because there are many ways of being open to the realm of the spirit through divination sorcery soothsayers you can go to the traditionalist in your house or in your village and he can do something and wash your eyes this is what a lot of prophets around nigeria do they go and by divination they concoct some things and suddenly they begin to hear and they begin to see what we do not understand is there are many planes in the spirit realm the fact that you are seeing the spirit does not mean you are seeing heaven Oh, yeah. no there are many planes in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real atmosphere just like the earth hallelujah so when when you understand the spiritual implication of life you will know that you are a spiritual man all the time let me show you something first corinthians lord grant us grace to just put something on ground before our time is up first corinthians please first corinthians 2 let's see what the bible has to say first corinthians 2 from verse 13 and 14 first corinthians 2 verse 13 he said which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the holy ghost teacheth comparing what with what See, your affair as a believer is entirely spiritual. When you begin to reduce yourself from the spiritual realm down to the intellectual realm and the physical realm, you will become a fool. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, not the things that man's wisdom, the word here is Sophia. Man's wisdom. Men have ways of interpreting spiritual things. Someone is convulsing. And you are telling the person this is a demonic thing they say no you see um something happened the person ate pepper and so on and so forth the bible says not man's wisdom this is the one that the holy ghost reveals are you listening to me how do you explain to someone that hiv is a spirit it's not just sickness it's a spirit it's not everyone that has hiv who had it through sex are you getting my point some people are shocked they just went to the hospital they check their blood and they say mr man you are positive to hiv one and two what happened and now everybody starts saying what what you have done in the secret now we have all known and you blame people you are interpreting things based on man's wisdom sophia hallelujah but when the holy ghost begins to guide you he will tilt your interpretation to spiritual things so when you see somebody annoyed at you or hates you you don't judge from the physical realm are you following me now you begin to look what is making this person do this and you will find out that this person 
may not even this person is reacting either to frustrations or to a need for spiritual help and you offer solution to people we're talking about spiritual growth i just want to put something here this is not the real verse verse 14 that's where i just want to show you something let's read together I want to read look up but the natural man stop he said the natural man does what 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 does receive it not mean in your new living english resents every time you begin to hear spiritual things your mind this is what happened to many of us when you started coming for koinonia when you watch these things is it true is it real are you sure the natural man cannot receive of the things of the spirit when you begin to teach spiritual truth it becomes too heavy for your intellectual mind you have believed that whatever will be will be now you are told that in christ you can take charge of your destiny the bible says for they are what they are what so when you see someone calling you a fool don't be angry the person is helping you to know which realm he is operating for are you listening to me when you tell someone type 10 percent the devourer will be rebuked this and that and the person will look at you and say mr man i went to school i'm not an idiot when you hear people telling you that kind of thing be careful because there are anointed men of god who went to school are you listening to me they went to uk they went to germany they went to india they kept their spiritual lives there and they came back with a lot of that's why you see when god really wants to use somebody let me tell you something in a very deep spiritual thing god will call you oftentimes god will ask the people to lay aside their ambition whatever it doesn't matter what they studied or didn't study and god will begin to lead them because the things of the spirit will wrestle the things you have known it says they are foolishness you see a growth right here and you are telling the person that this can go and it can disappear immediately does it make sense it doesn't hallelujah